see here outside of my door uh, the wind wheel spinning and this would be a good demo to show how well it survived the very high wind that we're encountering today. Um, the difference in the viewing in the front in here is I have scraped a lot of the ice that was accumulated on the glass door and that's because we get lots of freezing rain here in the Pocono and uh, it will be very hard to see through it. The whole house have, uh, on that side has ice on the, all, all the glass. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on, on this so you can see it. And then uh, this wheel somehow seems to survive all that. It will spin during the ice storm, it will spin during the snow, it will spin during the rain, it will spin in the daytime. And uh, this is a good demo here to see how well it survives high wind. Today's wind as far as the weather channel was at 30 miles an hour, but somehow I think it's gusting much higher once in a while. And uh, I'll leave the camera in here, and uh, this thing will give us its own demo. And here again, I'll zoom back, and you can see the ice on the door, where I scraped all the ice. You can see here's the door, uh, glass door, side door, all the ice around it. And uh, I hope we don't accumulate too much ice right on the glass in the viewing area. And uh, there's the wheel spinning. So this is, uh, here it is, I think that'll be just fine right there. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you're designing these, if you want to survive, because some of us who are doing the home projects with these things, uh, don't have the capital investment of GE and their turbines, or they run there that actually lowers uh, wind speed than what I have here today. The way they do it is called feathering, and that's by turning the blades. So they, uh, the wind won't break them. So they simply don't have to spin that fast. They're all geared towards certain speeds. Uh, in this situation here, in order for it to survive without the blade shattering or the fins, as I call them, you can see how fast they are right now. Uh, these things will survive simply because they're extremely balanced. This is a small. It doesn't have a big diameter. It will spin very fast, and because it's balanced. When it spins, it doesn't cause uh, high vibration, so uh, this will stay in place and everything stays fine. The other reason this thing survives well uh, is uh, the fins themselves have some flex to them, and uh, it will also keep up with the wind speed. So no matter what the wind speed is, this will almost keep up with it, and when it doesn't keep up, the whole thing just moves out of the way. So now you can see it's moving out of the way. Uh, I've seen it a couple times gone almost horizontal. It doesn't actually make it horizontal, but it's, uh, the wind was so high that thing really moved. So there you go. If you want to make one, uh, have confidence. It's not going to break. It's not going to shatter. You're not going to lose it. And then there's a good demo. I, I can't tell you how fast this thing spins. I don't have a tachometer on it. And I wish I have a uh, wind speed meet uh, reader outside. Slowly goes back, goes back to normal. Here. Now you may also hear the wind, even though I have the door closed, but you may hear the wind. Uh, getting here through the house and through the wall. Oh, I forgot to mention, the other thing I added here, I lowered this one down a little bit here. Oh, sorry. The other thing I add to make this thing uh, even take extra shocks is the spring holding the wheel. There's a spring between the wheel and the cable. I'll zoom in here. Maybe you can see it. Let's see if we can zoom in on the spring here. It's right over there. Right over there. There's a spring in there. And this way when it goes back and forth in case take some big shock from the tree, um, the bearing won't suffer a shock. So this 
spring will take some of the shock and reduce the effect on the bearing. You go back again. Okay, the door froze again. I've been waiting for this thing to slow down and stop, and finally it stopped. So now we'll see how long it'll take after it stops, how long and how quick it'll restart again. And here it goes, it's turning toward the wind. Right now the rudder is hitting a tree, and uh, pretty soon it'll start, and the rudder will move. There it goes, starting to turn. Okay, the rudder is hitting again. So now, here we go, we turn around, and there how it starts. Now, good luck waiting for it to stop again.